Acts of terrorism are increasing, but because Christians are the target, there's almost no exposure by the mainstream press. There have been four separate firebombings in the last few weeks. Instead, you've heard about white supremacy, and how it's white supremacy that's the biggest thing we ought to all be worried about. You've heard about January 6th and sedition and insurrection, and all about that protest that took place, and almost nothing about the places that were actually firebombed while the show trial was going on. Yes, that's, that, this is what is actually happening out there. The offices of pro-life groups in Wisconsin and Oregon have been firebombed. A pregnancy crisis center in Buffalo, New York had the same fate, and the pregnancy resource center in Gresham, Oregon was set on fire Saturday morning. Police say an incendiary device was thrown through a window. Now, <laughs> these same people have vandalized over a dozen churches and pregnancy centers in the past month or so. There's going to be a massive uptick in these acts of violence if Roe vs Wade is overruled, as it should be, and I do think that some people are going to get hurt, in part because the media is failing in its duty to warn and inform people about what's coming, because they're not telling people what's happening right now. Did you know about those cases? If so, it probably wasn't because you should listen to MSNBC. I don't think churches are properly prepared, for example, um, for this. Think about this, okay? The people who are doing this, and by the way, there's actually a terrorist organization that has taken credit for some of these bombings called Jane's Revenge after, uh, you know, uh, Jane Roe of the Roe vs. Wade acclaim. In any case, the people doing this are targeting pregnancy crisis centers, so let's think this through. They're targeting the places that are there to provide resources to pregnant women so that they are able to take their children to term and give birth to these kids and help to raise them. A lot of these actually, you know, help out with diapers and help out with formula and, and such things to make sure the kids get a good start in life. That's what they do. Now, you've heard the trope, I'm sure, that those who are those who are pro-life but only pro-birth, they don't care about these, these kids. And it's like, actually, we have these resource centers that try and make sure that the kids have a, a good start and that try to help uh, these single mothers who are struggling. But these people, these pro-abortion people, are literally firebombing the places. And while claiming some degree of, of moral superiority, yeah, I know, it kind of boggles the mind. But it, regardless, you know the attack that recently took place in Buffalo, New York? No, you don't. But anyway, there was one up there at one of these pregnancy uh, resource centers. Despite that, New York's governor not only ignored the violence and refused to even issue a public condemnation of it, but instead earmarked $35 million in taxpayer funds to increase security at abortion clinics, because that's the priority. Now, it's pretty rare, actually, for abortion clinics to be targeted, despite what they do for a living, but there is immense media coverage when that happens. It's basically a trope at this point. The Christian zealot targets the abortion clinic. It's, it's the worst of the worst somehow. Um, but when this happens, which is extremely frequent, which is increasing in frequency, and that we see, or ought to see, all the time, because we ought to have it in the media all the time, because it's happening regularly, it gets no outrage, no attention. And the whole point of such places is to make sure that mothers and infants are cared for. That's it. There is no reason, no moral justification for any of these actions. And yet, when acts of violence take place against them, as they are ha as, as is happening frequently, the media looks away, and those on the left look away. A lot of overlap between the media and the left, I know. But I think it's something we should be talking about and paying attention to, especially since we should expect an uptick in this as things change throughout the summer. So stay on high alert. Wow, you made it to the end. You have an attention span that's outside of the modern world, but I have more videos, and also, if you like them that much, there are ways to support the channel in the links below. Thanks.